Hello everyone, my name is Sharon Shetty. I'm the technical lead for tracking and planning component in Rational Team Concert. Today I will be showing a short demo of the next generation Quick Planner. It is available as a technical preview in 604 release. In today's agenda, I would be covering how Quick Planner Next has simplified views, how it's more customizable, flexible, provides better organization and has a more responsive UI. To open Quick Planner Next, from the menu, click on Plans and select Quick Planner Next Technical Preview. When we started with Quick Planner, our main focus was speed, lesser number of clicks and ease of use for any agile planning team. Quick Planner provided a set of predefined views to get you started quickly. In Quick Planner Next, we have simplified the views further you now have two types of board, work board and plan board. The work board combines the views in the current quick planner based on the user's work such as team's work, my work and all work. The plan board combines the views used for planning such as incoming work, backlog and iteration planning views. When you create a new board, you can choose to start from an empty board or pick a pre-configured board. I've already created some boards here. Let us look at the pre-configured plan board. It shows lanes for incoming work, backlog, release 10, sprint 2 which is the current iteration and sprint 3 which is the next iteration. In the work board, each lane represents a state group which is configured in the project area editor. You can customize the lanes in the board. Some of the customization that are supported are rename the lane, configure the lane for specific states, filter by tags and presentation options. For example, I can rename this lane from open to open must fix defects. I can pick only those states that are specific to the defect workflow and I can pick the tag that I'm interested in. The presentation options that are provided are severity, priority, owned by and no grouping. Now this lane is converted into a lane that shows all the must fix open defects. You can customize the lane as per the process followed in your organization. Users can build a pure tag based board without being bound by any of the state groups or states defined in the process template. For example, this is a pure tag based work board or they can build a pure state based board which is what we just saw over here. Or you can have a combination of a state as well as tag based board. Here's an example of a tag based plan board. The first lane is configured to show all new items with must fix tags and the second lane all items planned for the release 10 that are tagged as important. Users can select multiple items from different lanes and change their state simultaneously. During the state transition, users can select states or resolutions if there are more than one valid option. For example, the story can be moved to done, deferred or invalid state. Similarly, tasks can be moved to done or invalid state. And defects can have other resolution states. For example, if I want to change the resolution of this particular defect as duplicate, then I have an option to do so.
you can share the boards with project areas, team areas and users. You can pin more than one lane on the board. Say I want to do release planning and sprint planning. I can pin the backlog, then the release and the current sprint. Now you just need to drag and drop Say I want to pick the story from the backlog into the release or I want to pick this particular story from the release into the current sprint. The number of lanes that appear is determined dynamically by the screen size. For example, my external monitor can show up to 5 lanes whereas on my laptop it shows up to 3 lanes. Users can add tags to the boards and the boards are grouped by tags in the sidebar. If the boards do not have any tags, they are grouped under no tags. If the boards have multiple tags, it appears separately under each of the applicable tag. Further, you can filter boards by tags or keywords. The UI is built using React. Most of the UI uses the design pattern where the user's interaction is updated immediately. Then an asynchronous call is made to the server. If there is any error on the server, then the user is indicated of the error and the changes made are reverted. There are no spinners used to indicate server wait times, thus providing a highly responsive UI. In addition, Quick Planner is a component based UI. The entire UI is not re rendered for a change, rather, only the affected UI is updated. For example, if you set the parent, the icon is updated to indicate that there is a parent task breakdown view, as well as the parent link is updated here. The same thing can be noticed when you remove the parent. When you install 604 GA, Quick Planner Next is not shown as an option by default. The next section in the video gives details on how to enable Quick Planner Next. The property that enables this feature is a hidden property, hence will not appear on the admin UI as well. If the property is disabled, Loading a direct URL to Quick Planner Next will also not load the UI. In 604 Downloads page, under the tab All Downloads, there is an entry for Quick Planner Next. This provides an option to download the readme.txt. Once the technical preview license is accepted, users can download the readme. The README provides details on how to enable the feature. For more information on the feature, see the work item 392375. And to provide any further feedback on the feature, add a comment in the work item 417753. That concludes my demo. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.